good day, Tinker Cat friends. I have got an awesome code box lesson for you. Why don't you sign in quick and give this a try? First things first, I need you to click on code blocks. We are going to do a brand new design, so hit that new design and then let's change the name. And I'm going to call mine Auto Snowman with my initials. The beauty of this little fella is he is going to be totally adjustable. Let's start by bringing in a new object and let's rename it Snowman and click OK. Since it is going to be automatic, we need to create some variables. Let's start by creating a variable and we'll name it size. Rename it, type size in the box and tell it OK. Now snowmen are made of spheres, so the size that we're going to have is the radius. Well, we know that it takes two radii to make a diameter. So we're going to make another variable called height, and just choose rename variable and type height. And then that is going to equal some math. Bring out your little math operator and drop it in. And then find your size variable, and we're just going to do size times two. Speaking of sizes, let's put our first size in there so it's a size 5. That way we don't accidentally get to the end and hit play and have it do nothing. Our snowman is going to be made of three spheres, so let's also give him one called total height. And this will be a calculated number that says how high the total snowman is going to be so it helps place each of the spheres. And then as we build, we need to also calculate the starting height. So rename that variable to starting height. And there's my starting height variable. The total height variable. To calculate the total height, we simply have to put in a math operator. And we're going to multiply our height times 6. And then we need to calculate the starting height which is simply size times two. This is where I wish I could right click and duplicate my prior commands. But instead we simply bring it out, drop it in, find our variable size. When you drop in the variable, make sure you drop it in the hole, not on the edge. If you do it on this edge, so you see I'm right on the edge, it totally pops it out. Even then you can drop it in the hole and then grab the whole piece of math and drop it inside the box. Whichever way you want to solve that you may. I did notice that was one problem my students had was they kept dropping it on the outside edge, not the whole of the math operation. So that is the bulk of the difficult work. Now you simply need to bring in your repeat. Your snowman has three shapes. We need to find that shape. It's going to be a sphere. We need to change that sphere to white unless you want a different color snowman. And then instead of the radius, we need to find that variable we created, which is under the data. And we want to put size there. And let's make our sphere as round as we can using 36. Later, you can experiment with these and make silly ones like even stepping all the way down to four steps to see what that creates. Now the magic of this whole process is right here. After the first sphere draws, we want to change the variable height to a different amount. So bring out your set item 2. Switch from the word item to height. So bring out a math operation and just set it down below because we're going to make this one really big. Bring out another math operation and set it in the first box. And then bring out another math operation and set it in the last box. So we've got four numbers that we're playing with. In the first box, I want you to put size and then change it to times two. We're going to keep the plus and then out here we're going to put size and we're going to divide it by 2. And then we're going to grab this entire block, which I'm going to do just above the plus sign, and I'm going to drop it in that height box. And this is going to adjust the height so that it's at the correct location for each of the spheres we add. 
Now I need you to track down a move command. And we are going to move with some cool math as well. Bring out another operation block. All right, let's calculate that height with another math operation. And we're going to put a math operation in that math operation. This one's only going to have three, though. And we're simply going to take the total height variable, which we calculated up there. And we are going to add the starting height. And then we are going to subtract the current height. These three variables are the magic that make this all come together. I'm going to grab the entire block and drop it in Z. And then the last part of this magic is when the first sphere finishes, we need to change the size of our size variable so the next sphere is larger. Grab a set item block, drop it below, switch to the word size, bring out a operation block, bring out a size block, and put it in the first one, and drop that in our set size. Change it to multiplication and put in a 2. Friends, double check your code. Make sure you've got your 5, your 2, your 6, and your 2. Make sure that you've got height, total height, starting height, size, height, and size in these locations. Repeat it three times. You've got your lovely white sphere that's being added with a radius of size and steps of 36. Make sure you're setting your height to this large piece of math where it's size times 2 plus size divided by 2. Make sure your move has the total height. I did see some people accidentally drop that in the Y location, which messed it up as we tested it. And then finally, you've got your part where it resizes. I do not want to show you the magic. I want you to be able to click that on your own. Please, friends, if you enjoyed this code, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Keep tabs on every movie I add by clicking notifications. And if you have a question or a comment, please add it down below. Last but not least, check the top right corner of this movie for the second part of this video where you get to add all the cool objects to your adjustable auto snowman using some cool code. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.